Her Majesty the Queen has dedicated her life to tireless service to the Commonwealth. From the age of 21, she made it clear that this would be a lifelong commitment. And therefore, her address to the Commonwealth is a particularly poignant and important statement because it provides a steadying anchor in turbulent and troubling times, which unites us to stand together in solidarity and strength as one family under one identity and encourages all of our 54 members to deliver a coordinated and articulated response to achieve one common goal of ending this pandemic. No one country can fight this pandemic alone. We can end it only if we work together with cross-border collaborations because the health of each one of us now relies on the health of all of us. COVID-19 is spreading rapidly across the Commonwealth at an alarming rate. So to survive this crisis and once again flourish, we must work together as a Commonwealth to deliver our common future. This means connecting, innovating and transforming the way we do things and taking robust multilateral action to overcome vulnerability and build resilience. We have developed a corona tracker uh, trajectory to monitor developments and analyse key data to support informed policy decisions. The Commonwealth tracker contains the data on the confirmed cases and deaths in the 54 countries and looks at the secondary data which have been collected in a way that really helps us to understand the full impact and takes into account the sustainable development goals data that we already have. And the Commonwealth Tractor is also analysing, correlating and visualising other relevant data from the UN and the World Bank, such as the age group profile of a country's population, the number of hospital beds in member countries per thousand people. The correlation analysis in aggregate really helps to provide guidance on the current capacity of a country to cope with the likely fallout of the pandemic in each member country. It's a dynamic tracker, which not only measures the incident rate, but accumulates figures on a daily basis and shows how the infection is spreading over time. Now, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Secretariat developed strategies for pooled procurement of essential medicines and presented these proposals to Commonwealth health ministers in 2019. And we're going to use that platform to enhance our understanding. And the proposals are for this core price sharing and pool procurement platform are urgently being tailored to provide important information on essential health supplies, drugs, tests, and equipment necessary to combat COVID-19 right across the Commonwealth as part of the Secretariat's response action to support our member states. If we work together, we can make it. If we work together, we can come up with the solutions we need to make sure that this pandemic really is part of our history and no longer part of our future. And I want to thank each and every one of those brave members of our emergency services of our healthcare, who have not only given their time, their energy and their talent, but I particularly want us to remember all of those who have given their lives so that we can enjoy a future.